So at this point, are you really in a relationship or are you just roommates? Come on in, come on in. Millennials, come on in. Should millennial men and women shack up together, live together, purchase a home together? Let's talk about it. So the reason why this topic came about is because not too long ago, a client of mine was telling me how their rent is $2,000 for a two-bedroom apartment here in the Orlando area. And basically, him and his girlfriend go half and half on the rent and the bills. And I want to give my take on this. Ladies, gentlemen, I know social media make it seem like the men is supposed to be paying all of the bills in the house. And I don't agree with that. As, as good as it sounds, in this environment, in this, in this economy, a man paying all of the bills in the house is just not going to work unless he makes multiple six figures. And that's just the honest truth. And if he doesn't make multiple six figures, if he makes close to six figures and you all are able to cut back and survive as a couple on one income, well, kudos to you because that's amazing. But I say all of this to say, I begin to ask my client, you know, how him and this young lady met and all of the things. He tells me that they met at his job and I'm doing a quick little makeup thing cause I'm supposed to be leaving my house already. He met her at his job and she came on to him and that's how they met. So I proceed to ask him, do you see yourself marrying this young lady? And he said, yes, but he's not ready. And they've been dating for a year or so. So I asked him, why do you believe you're not ready? And he was basically saying how the young lady isn't where she wants to be in her career and he's helping her. Which it sounds good and all, but you're helping someone that you're dating, you're splitting the bills, she came on to you and you're not really sure of the future. Like, what if she just up one day once she get on her feet and get to where she wants in life and she just leaves you? You know, you'll get a nice pat on your back for helping another human being. But that was time wasted where you could have been with or he could have been with someone he really wanted to be with. And that was serious and ready to commit regardless of the circumstance. Because at this point, you know, you and this person is living together and splitting bills and sharing your goals and your dreams with one another 
to me is like because my mentality now is like well why not just make the commitment and continue to do what you're doing and then that way because she's work he says she working two and three jobs he got his job and he's a veteran and he can more and more than likely qualify for a home and they could begin to build generational wealth together and don't have to worry about the continuous rent spiking up and down and at least they'll have a solid mortgage payment and the only thing they would have to worry about fluctuating is the taxes every year. But no, they want to continue to date and figure it out. So at this point, are you really in a relationship or are you just roommates? Are you really in a relationship or are you just roommates? Because you can help your roommate follow their dreams. You can help your roommate, you know, save money by partnering up and splitting the bills. You could tell your roommate your goals and dreams, you know, and work towards achieving them. And then I guess the only thing, if your roommate is like of the same sex, you just won't be able to be intimately intimate with them sexually. At this point, that's what it sounds like. It's like they're roommates. And it's just a sad thing, millennials, that we're lacking on the commitment part. We got it going on. Most of us, and I'm no pro with makeup. I'm just doing a one-two thing. Most of us are, you know, being successful in our career with our dreams and our aspirations. But we are forgetting about commitment. We are forgetting about what true love is really like we're forgetting about all of those things and that's one thing i do not love for us and i am not judging you because i once was that girl living with a guy and going half on the bills again i do not see anything wrong we're going half on the bills if that is your husband if that the person is your spouse or if that's your wife by all means go ahead and go half on the bills but when you're dating and going half on the bills, to me, that's just a whole nother story. At this point, you are like a roommate and not really a partner. And the more I grow, and I get older, I respect people who, you know, commit to one another in the form of marriage. And not using one another to get ahead in life. Not waiting until they're in a good so-called circumstance to commit and to be married, but to really have purpose when dating and can identify 
when somebody is their spouse. And if they cannot identify if this person is their spouse, they'll just stay single until they can identify if this person is their spouse. I believe that's the best way to go in my opinion. Because it's so many people that are unhealed and broken. And by the time they get to a really good person that wants to commit, now issues arise. Oh no. Something not right right there. Issues arise. And now, the time that they spent with a person that really wasn't their spouse, now they stuck in not knowing how to move forward with someone that really is their spouse. So, it's a really sad state that millennials are in when it comes to commitment and i pray that you all have the attention span to watch this full video and learn and apply these concepts to your life so i'll be coming back with more episodes of residential and residency I mean relationships and residency or relationships and residency because we really need this it is very much necessary for us millennials to learn these concepts to really step up and really commit.